Okay, so what I got now is uh, a new driver's information center for my uh, 2013 Silverado. So I got, I'll show you what I have now. See, it's the LS model. So you don't have information for your uh, miles per gallon, uh, things like that. I'll show you what exactly what I got though. Okay, so while it's in park, when it's in park, the only thing I have is this little, uh, uh, like the reset switch up here. And uh, where the new one is, it's going to be right here. So the only things I have, uh, of course, your odometer, uh, the trip, transmission temperature, uh, exhaust fluid level. Of course, this has the diesel. Uh, Duramax diesel, so that's why that's there. Uh, that's your trailer gain output, uh, the speedometer, uh, and your oil life, and yeah, fuel filter remaining, and your odometer again. Uh, but when I put it in gear, um, it's even less what you got. And then you just have your odometer, trip, transmission, exhaust fluid, uh, and these things. You don't have anything as far as um, uh, tire pressure or any of those things. And what that uh, new driver's information center is, is it will give it to you uh, just through them little buttons that are, uh, that I got it on Amazon actually. I think it was 75 bucks and uh, it actually has the, the housing and the vent and the place for your headlight switches here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop this in and then I'll get back in the truck and I'll show you exactly how you can do this. Uh, pretty much plug and play. Now I've uh, got that snapped in and all it does is it snaps in on the back and all the trucks are already wired with the harness to plug into these. I think General Motors finally got smart. Uh, you, you standardize things, you don't make 10 different harnesses for 10 different trucks, you make one different harness for 10 trucks and uh, actually save a lot of money that way. But I'll show you how you, how you pull this, pull this out of here, Got the sun coming through the window. So actually these just actually they pop right out. One handed actually. Probably easier if I had two hands to do it with, but I'm trying to hold. And if you look, you can see that one harness right here at the top here. That's for that driver information display. It's already wired in. So all we got to do is we got to pull our our uh, switches out for our dome light in the headlights. Put those on uh, the new one. Okay, so I got it on uh, now. Uh, went right back in. Very little persuasion needed to get it on. It fits real nice. It's actually, it, well, it should fit nice. It's a GM part. Uh, so let me turn it on here. fuel so you know before I didn't have fuel range or the average economy so it's showing 16 7 fuel used let me show that again okay I had that no fuel range 292 I did not have that before did not have the average fuel economy or the fuel used of course we had that uh, no timer we didn't have that we had the transmission temperature and that was with uh, this one up here. Now the second one for vehicle information, trailer output, had that, engine hours. You could have, you could get that by holding uh, uh, the little uh, toggle switch or whatever you want to call that little button. You could get the engine hours with that. Uh, so you got engine hours, 
and your engine oil life, fuel filter, exhaust fluid. Okay, there's your units. Uh, now I got front tires for the PSI. We did not have that before. That's uh, kind of strange, but trailer output gain. Here's engine hours again. Or wildlife fuel filter. Okay. This here just goes through the. To you change your language, auto door lock, you can uh, change those. Dim lock, remote, remote door lock, remote door unlock. It's kind of hard to see with this sun coming right through the window. Oops. Let's just try changing that. So push that uh, automatic out of our door lock when it shifts out of park. At the vehicle speed, you could choose that. Okay, so I just chose that. So that probably at 20 miles an hour, probably. The remote door lock. Unlock. Delay door lock. And then your exit lighting, approach lighting, chime volume. And you can restore it to factory settings. So, 75 bucks, and I got a lot more uh, information, fuel economy, tire pressure, and stuff like that. Uh, not sure what this does now. I uh, still need the toggles. Also, now using that button up there, all it does is toggle through the odometer and the trip. That's it. So, the LS models do not come with that. And uh, of course, this is the second new truck I've actually had. Uh, it's the LS model, so it has the floor four-wheel drive, uh, rubber floor mats, which I didn't think of, or rubber floor coating. Actually, I didn't know if I was going to like that or not, but it's actually very easy to clean, uh, and I really don't mind it. It's kind of nice, actually. But it has uh, air conditioning. I had that. Uh, uh, DVD player or CD player uh, Sony put in right after I got it. Uh, it had a base radio, but it still in it. it does have OnStar on it, just like all the other ones. It has cruise control. It has the power mirrors, power door locks, power windows. So actually for an LS, I mean, I, I did want the, the Duramax diesel, which is a real expensive option, so this is the, the way I got into it. A little bit less uh, accessories, but overall, it's got the exhaust brake, of course. And another thing you might not see an LS running is uh, these wheels. When I bought the truck, I told them I had to have those wheels or I wasn't going to buy it. And guess what? They put them on. So of course, I had the running boards put on the tonic cover, and uh, this uh, grill, not a grill guard, but the, the rock guard, it actually mounts flush right to the front of the truck. It's actually uh, glued on with them uh, 3M tape. So, for an LS, it's pretty nice. Thanks for watching, guys.